Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited about our video. I got two things that I'm gonna cover. First, a couple months ago, I installed Raptor lights on the front of the Tacoma. I wanna give you an update of how those are holding up, how do they look, what do I think about them so far. Hasn't been too long, but let me give you a little bit of update on that mod. And then second, now that I've got those lights in, they're a bright white LED. The halogen bulbs in my normal headlights just don't look great. So we got a little bit of a mod install to fix that. All right, two things to cover. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Raptor lights. Before I do, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe, that'd be great. And also, if you like this video as it goes on, go ahead and hit like. We'd love to get another like on this video. So as you can see, kneeling down in front of my truck here, I've got the Raptor lights right behind me. Because I went with the OEM grill, I had to use um, a little bit of some adapters. I'll link those down in the description as well as my installation video for this. But because of that, I actually went with the four lights. So there are three light sets and then the four light sets like I've got. I think the three look really good on the Heritage or the Pro Grill. Um, there's also ways to do the four on that grill as well, but I definitely think that the four look best on the OEM grill, at least in my opinion. So they've held up great. As you can see behind me, all four of them are still working. They're nice, they're bright. I'm in the garage in the middle of the day. The garage is closed, but you can see they're nice and bright. Now, a couple things to know. I do park in a garage every single day, so my car is never outside. It's not in the rain, it's not in the snow. However, I've got the black metallic TRD off-road. I do go through the car wash at least once a week. Right now, I don't have any other lights on there. I haven't really changed up anything from a lighting perspective. Just added these, so they do go through the car wash, the automatic car wash. Haven't had any problems with them. I know there's some people that have had problems in the past, and you know, there's a lot of them that are on uh, Amazon specifically. I was a little bit worried, and so that's not where I went. I'll go ahead and I'll link down below, not sponsored or anything, but you can see the ones that I've bought and how they've held up. I really like the smoked color on them. Kind of goes with the blackout theme that I've got going on my truck. I ended up going with the white instead of the amber. I kind of go back and forth on that, but so far they've held up great. I've been extremely happy with them. My only issue with the white and that bright white is that it really makes my halogen bulbs in my headlights look pretty crappy and you can tell they're different colors. So next thing I want to do is actually try to do a little bit of a mod install. Let's see if we can switch out those for some LED lights, see if it gives it a little bit better look to make the truck look more consistent. These are the bulbs that are going to replace the halogen lights that I've already got in the truck right now. Those are the stock lights that came with it. Really nice packaging. Kind of like that. Got some stickers. And then these are the actual lights themselves. As you can see, these are supposed to be plug and play. So I should be able to remove the old ones and pretty immediately install these new ones. Um, I have heard, you know, you do want to try and not touch the bulb. I have heard you do want to try and not touch the bulb, but, you know, really good packaging, right? You know that these are going to be safe. They're going to be well protected when they get shipped to you. Last Fit is a company that I've done research on. They seem to have a really good name as far as lighting goes. I know they have other lights, but let's go ahead and let's see how easy or how hard it is to plug in these LED headlights. Every time I go to lift this up, I think I really should install some hood struts. I'm curious, have you installed hood struts? Do you like them? Is it worth the expense? Is it worth the install? Let me know down below in the comments because lifting this beast up is just extremely heavy. All right, starting in the front of the headlight, you just follow it straight back. Kind of blocking my light there, but you can see right there that's where I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Okay, I grab my flashlight that I keep in my truck. I'll link it down below. It's just a nice little EDC. You can see there's two lights there. So you got the light here, and then you've got the actual light there. And this is the one that I'll be switching out. So flipping this around, you're looking at this one versus this one. And this is the one that we're gonna be switching out. 
Look, this is a little tricky to get to, and I've had the lights on as I filmed, which has made it hot. So what I've done is I've thrown on uh, one of my barbecue gloves with one of the little disposable gloves so that I can get down in there, reach, twist it, and just pull it right out. So reaching down in there and pulling it out is not all that difficult. You don't have a lot of space to work with here though. So now I'm going to switch it out with the new one. So as you can see, there's just a small tab right there. You can just use a screwdriver and pull on that tab just, just slightly and that'll help that light just come right off. Then in the new one, there's a slight tab or a notch I should say on the top of the new one. That's going to go in that same tab. So you'll know because you'll hear it click into place nicely again i am wearing some of these gloves they've added a little bit of insulation that kind of help when you're dealing with hot stuff and so that's kind of what i'm using because that light was a little on the hot side once you get the old light removed go ahead and click in the new one now always test them before you put it back into place and let me tell you why this is officially my first mod fail because I can hear the, the first one I installed. Sounds good, you can hear that it's whirling. It's got that little fan on there to keep it cool, I love that. But, this one's not working. Let me show you. You can see there's that one, that one's in there. See how nice and white that is? Super excited because it's gonna match, but, well, as you can imagine, I am highly disappointed. This is officially my first major mod flaw. You know, I was worried that I'd done something with the wiring, maybe messed something up. So I plugged in the old lights on both sides. They worked great. I plugged in the new LED bulbs on both sides. One worked, one didn't. So I switched those to see if that was the issue. And the one that was working when I switched to the other side, working again. The one that wasn't working, still not working. You know, I thought I could just scrap the whole video, but I think it's important for you to see. You know, I'm gonna reach out to the manufacturer. I'm sure they're pretty good to work with. Most companies really are right now, but this definitely was something I was excited about. You know, I tested the one side first. Always test before you plug everything back in. Soon as I plugged it in, saw how good it looked saw just the the better color and how it matched those raptor lights super excited about that plugged in the other side that's where it didn't work went through the whole testing phase and that light just clearly doesn't work so you know i've done other mods um i don't know if you're like me but it seems like everything i do you're if you're a pro you're a pro congratulations but look there's a lot of pro modders out there i'm definitely not one of them seems like there's mods that should take five to ten minutes and they take me 20 to 30. This was one of those that I felt like five to 10 minutes I should have it done. Learning, first of all, that it's a little trickier to get access to those bulbs. That took a little bit longer. Then you gotta make sure you lift that tab up. That took a little bit longer. Getting them in and out and then having the issue where I had to go back and test. You know, this has been more like a 30, 35 minute test to figure out one of those doesn't work, but figured I'd share it with you nonetheless if you've got something that's worked let me know also if you got a mod that failed just like mine just failed right now love to hear your your comments down below misery enjoys company so if you've got a mod that failed hey leave a comment tell me about it down below help me feel better but we're going to keep moving we got more mods coming we're going to go back we're going to see if we can get some better bulbs get this puppy fixed Get those LED lights in there. So watch for that in a future video. All right, you know the drill. Hit like if you haven't done so. Hit subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.